President Trump preparing to deliver his first State of the Union address with a key focus expected to be on selling his plan on immigration. This as the White House responds to the latest shakeup in the FBI. Fox News correspondent Ellison Barber is in Washington with more. Tomorrow is President Trump's first official State of the Union address. A senior administration official says the president will try to strike a bipartisan tone and for the most part look ahead. But overshadowing that today is FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. Sources tell Fox News McCabe has been removed. Time Mr. To go. President, have Thank you been you told all. that McCabe Thank is resigned? Thank you. Thank you. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is out at the FBI. A source familiar with the situation tells Fox News McCabe was told to begin terminal leave. In other words, take what's left of his vacation time. They say this is likely the earliest McCabe could be removed and still be eligible for pension. McCabe became the acting FBI director after President Trump fired James Comey. Republicans have accused McCabe of a political bias. The president has publicly attacked him. Last week, The Washington Post reported that Attorney General Jeff Sessions was pressuring FBI Director Christopher Wray to replace Place McCabe. Not so much None of this decision was made by that of the White House and any specifics I would refer you to the FBI who I believe will be making a statement later so today. You say that the White House was not involved in the decision but clearly the president seemed to be involved in a public relations campaign against McCabe. Oh look I, the president stands by his previous comments. Can you say definitively then that the president did not play a role in Andrew McCabe stepping down? Yes. All of this as the president prepares to deliver his first State of the Union address in less than 48 hours. At a swearing in ceremony for his new Health and Human Services Secretary, Trump paused to tell reporters how the speech is coming along. We worked on it hard, cover a lot of territory, including our great success with the markets and with the tax cut. According to White House officials, the address will focus on jobs and the economy, infrastructure, immigration, trade and national security. Immigration remains a big focus in Washington. The White House released the framework of their immigration proposal last week, but it has critics on both sides of the aisle. In the Senate, a group of bipartisan lawmakers are still working on their own proposal.